Hey there Capricorn, how are you doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Carolyn B and I am the one who's going to be pulling you a few cards for December 2020. Thank you so much for tuning in and for all the loving comments that were left. All right, uh, for those that may be new, also um, I do have readings for my channel also to help support this channel as well. Uh, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And uh, also to big shout out to Nicole, especially for um, allowing me a place to introduce myself and say hello. So let's see here, Capricorn, what do we have going on for you? It's been crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It has been crazy. You know, it's just like, where are those um, readings you were going to do? And yes, okay. Uh, you're redoing a lot of things Capricorn what this has to do with you possibly if you had like a school school project or something like that or uh, like a business venture or possibly looking for the right woman the right man um, I, I I don't know how strong uh, the mercury energies are right now while I'm doing it this reading uh, so some of you Capricorns uh, you know you could be working with that Virgo energy all right uh, possibly maybe even Capricorn, uh, Capricorn or Capricorn Taurus. We have choose love here on the bottom here. It says you always have a choice as to what to do. All right. So, uh, Capricorn, it's just like you're keeping your composure. You're keeping it together the best way you know how. And inside you are screaming. <laughs> Um, yeah, electronical issues. So, um, you know, make sure you've got your stuff backed up or whatever, you know, um, in case if like files get like deleted or like, you know, uh, that there's like something going on and stuff like that happens. Also too, Archangel Michael is good too when it comes to working with getting electronics back like that. All right. Also too, if you're having any automotive issues, um, and also to being conscious of, uh, what we are putting out there because what we get back is pretty much what we are manifesting, what we're putting out there. Uh, and I know it's very difficult and people may be very critical of you right now and you are remaining grounded as, as best as you can. Um, all right. So this is saying choose love. You always have the choice as what you should do. So um, you do not have to take my advice or, you know, again, these cards are not set in stone. This is your destiny. You are the creator of your own uh, life, your destiny. And if somebody tells you other, other than what you want to happen, well, you have the right to change that. Like nobody can really tell you. All right. But that is where the work comes in. A lot of the inner work comes in. And um, that really doesn't settle too well with a lot of people. So, so you may be getting people like, um, who do you think you are? You're too, you, what, you, you think you're too good for me? Or, um, oh, there you go again, like totally ignoring me. When you're being quiet and not necessarily talking about what's going on behind the scenes, because for, uh, you know, certain people, just like we all know what we what happens when, you know, you start announcing your plans like, hey, I'd, I'd like to do this. Yes, absolutely. Get those um, ideas and implement them um, to the right people. And if, if you are in an area where you're not sure of, like love, maybe uh, possibly, you know, maybe you are electronics. It's just like, all right, you know, I, I know we're in interesting times right now. And, um, you know, I got a phone call, a frantic phone call. And it's just like, you haven't, you haven't called me. It's just, it's not me ignoring anyone at all. All right. I, I've been having technical issues and stuff like that too. Uh, some stuff like messages that were sent like last year I just got. So it's it just like, also too, I'm not a, a doctor or a lawyer. So, uh, make sure you are checking your cardiovascular system, your heart, you know, your blood pressure too. Um, you know, again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a lawyer. Maybe look into uh, fish oil. If you're having issues with your eyesight, uh, possibly too, that could be also signs of indigestional issue, cardiovascular issues as well. Okay. And it's just like, Carolyn, I'd love to do all that. However, this person's raising 
my blood pressure. <laughs> I try to get away and they, they find me. Um, all right. So, so yeah, last minute, um, things that are happening. So this December, 2020 brings wonderful things though, because you're choosing, it's like, all right, it's, it's not that easy to necessarily go through whatever it is that you are going through right now. Maybe your partner does not understand what you're going through right now. Perhaps you're already in a, you know, successful committed relationship and it's just like, all right, I know when to back off and when they're going through stuff, you already have that telepathic communication, if you will. All right, because they understand your body language because they actually were attentive and chose to pay attention to you. So don't worry about them trying like stepping out on you or anything like that. Um, people may try to get them to step out and it's just like, who do you think you are, uh, Capricorn? You, your devilish energy, if you will, because um, <laughs> when it comes to working with the tarot, it is considered that particular card. However, who who's who's to judge you? You know, we're the we're the worst judge of ourselves here. But it doesn't help when like somebody's constantly right there, like in this and this and this and this, and you're just like, oh. <sighs> You're, you're bored with it and it's just like, all right, um, okay. So again, choosing love, choosing yourself first before anybody else. Also too, if somebody out there is just uh, a complete hater, possibly maybe even jealous of your relationship and just like, you shouldn't be with so-and-so. And if you are, then you've got to choose. You've got to choose. It's either me or them. And you're just like, it's uh again you are an earth sign so re remember try, try to remain grounded as best as you can it's like you want to say something but at this point it's so exhausting because if you were to keep like at it with certain people they wouldn't even listen anyways you'd be wasting your oxygen all right and it, it's just not even worth it okay so you're moving on to wonderful fabulous new things and everyone that said that for some of you out there should I say, should I go relationship? Yeah, people can change. Absolutely. That's up to you to decide. You know, that's up to that person to decide, do they? And um, I, I understand it's like, um, you know, if you if you love me, then you'd give this up or you do this, you know, and genuinely mean it. And maybe they're in a space where they just, they can't, you know, because they're so imprisoned within themselves. And uh, whatever it is that they're going through, uh, nothing but blessings and peace and love uh, sent to them as well. Totally snap out of that, you know. Um, you can lead a, that, that old saying there, you can lead a horse to water, you can't make it drink, right? You can do all you can do. However, they've got to want it for themselves, all right? And, um, you know, you always have a choice as what you should do. And sometimes choosing love, and this is not to scare anyone. This is not to throw out anything bad out there to anyone. Absolutely not. Sometimes when you choose love, that means walking away too. All right. Um, also too, on the positive, on the um, front here, we have, what is this in the background? A successful relationship. You have almost like your higher self looking out there and just like, is this ever going to happen or is this only going to be in my dreams? You know, uh, if you already have this, then that is fabulous. That's wonderful. That's a huge party when, you know, all this stuff is done and over with. Uh, and it will be. It will be. It, it's don't even get me started. <laughs> And um, also, too, something about three children as well. Also, too, uh, past ancestors, something to do with ballrooms. I don't know if anyone's into ballroom dancing or into vintage, uh, vintage clothing. Uh, possibly uh, something Victorian, too, Victorian style, maybe buying a Victorian style house. Um, also, too, it, it's like you're here in this group, if you look right here, very warm, very inviting. And it's just like, all right, almost feeling like the innocence. They're like, I honestly do not know what to do in this situation. And I feel like I'm putting myself out there by even asking anyone. And, and it's it's like embarrassing. And it's just like, and you, and you know, um, when you ask somebody for advice that maybe is a friend or a family member, they automatically turn on that. Well, I know you, and this is how you normally act, so this is going to be the outcome, and da 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 and then more about me, and then it's just like, okay, so I just, you know, <laughs> so sometimes it's just like, all right, 
Maybe I should go to a stranger for advice or an outside source. And, and that can be very scary too, because you do not want to get swindled. You do not want to deal with any, you know, mm hmm. Oh, and honey tis the season for uh, that in December, you know, they can uh, skedaddle on out, you know, it's just like, okay, it's time to pay the piper, honey. Gifts coming on in, which is awesome. I'm absolutely loving this. Um, so this is just fabulous here. And it's just going to that warm, safe place. Um, you know, it's just like an elder of some kind, maybe even if they look young, they, they could be beyond their years. All right. And it's just like, all right, you know, maybe they can't help me, but they'll be like, Hey, you know what? Did you eat something today? You're looking scrawny, sit down, whatever. Tell me what's going on. And I'll tell you what I went through. And if it helps, great. If not, fine. And then next thing you know, it's just like, you know, why do they make it sound so simple? And I've been overcomplicating things. Not saying that you are doing that, Capricorn, however. Maybe you are. Uh, somebody else, though, is really overcomplicating things here. And um, you want things simple. You want that old romance, you know. You want it to be for real. You do not want this song and dance and this, this modern love, this facade, you know. Don't believe in modern love. That David Bowie song, but I've been listening to that like pretty much. Could you imagine if somebody was ever eavesdropping on me? They'd probably be so mad. <laughs> They'd probably be like, why does she keep listening to the same song over and over and over and over and over again? Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> couldn't have anything to do with radio or it couldn't have anything to do with, you know, working with particular uh, artists or anything like that. Or, you know, I'm just feeling the song for that vibe, that moment in time. Music is going to be very key for you, too. Uh, a very simple form of transmission, and you can try it. Is there a song that you like? Also, too, feel free to leave comments below. Um, a song that you like that gets you out of it. You know, I'm not talking about a song that makes you sad. I ain't got this. I ain't got that. And I'm, yes, you're allowed to have your feelings. Yes. Sit in your feelings and feel those feelings because you're going to have to. But I'm talking about when you want to get out of that. Sometimes um, music, well, music works really good uh, also to comedy. But is there a song that you could think of that just kind of, you know, it makes you feel a little bit better or really, you know, a lot better and just like, you know what? All right, I'm ready to go on another day and listen to somebody else's like lies or whatever on who I am and who I'm not. Wow, that's funny. I'm me. Couldn't you have asked me what I'm going to? It's just like people think that they know you and they really don't. So that's, I think probably that's where you get that like devilish, you know, uh, that, that, whatever. Also too, let's play a few more cards here to get some clarification as to some signs to be on the lookout for. And again, thank you all so very much for, you know, taking the time to watch these and comments. Um, I really do appreciate that. It really does mean a lot to me. So let's see what else do we have for Capricorn December 2020. Okay. Are you kidding me? Right there. So people are going to sit there. You know how long? I'm not going to go into it, but yeah. I forget who else. Uh, okay, you could also be working Capricorn, Capricorn. Boy, have you met your match, you know, which just it's this reflection of uh, almost twin flame energy I'm sensing. So that's really cool. All right, we also have the Page of Cups right here. Some of you could be working with the water sign, possibly Scorpio, Pisces, maybe even... Um, Cancer, okay? Uh, so it could possibly be somebody that's a little bit younger than you or acts younger. All right. Um, and it's just like, if you look at the imagery on this card here, he's got that duck face and he's holding his cup like, and again, this is not gender specific. But he's just so sure of himself or herself, whoever this is. And they're just holding their drink and they're just like, who did, who do you think you are? Don't you know who I am? Who do you think you are to try to build a life without me? Because you're going to need me. Somebody here is all about me. Like, and it's just like, 
You can sit there with your golden cup all you want, but you're not going to break me, all right? And it's crazy also, too. Let's not get necessarily too scared with this card. However, I do want to point out, I mean, look at the bod, all right? I think it's like an eight pack or a six pack or a 12 pack or something like that. Uh, do be on the lookout though for somebody very good looking. It's like, no problem, Carolyn, that's easy homework, okay. No, uh, that could be good. Also too, be on the lookout for somebody that throws their looks around because they know they're very good looking and they know how to use that against people. So just maybe be on the lookout for that, not to scare or frighten anyone. Um, however, people could see you like that too, you know, they see you as a threat because you're so gorgeous and everything. And, and then that's where you get, who do you, who do you think you are? I'm from this type of family or I own this amount of properties or I run this and I do that. And meanwhile, you're just like, mm hmm okay. That's great. I, I, I have the same thing too. However, you may not come across that way to people because again, you want to see who wants you for you. You know, anyone can flex in front and, and do this. It's almost like this person rented something just to try to get you jealous. This is my new car. And you know, it, it ain't or it's their friends or like probably like parents car or something like that. Nothing wrong with that. Hey, nothing wrong. I, okay, I'm just the messenger. Or it could be like, it's my new house. Jealous. And it's just like, you know you rented that house. Um, you don't need all that material. Yeah, it's great to have. Absolutely. Shoot for the stars. You know, um, that's great. That's what I want for everyone to, to have that type of stuff. However, you're dealing with somebody here just like... <laughs> Again, you know, uh, geez Louise, this person really, they just like, they're probably hurting too. Um, could be anyone, I don't know out there. And they, they, but it's just like, who do they think they are for being happy? I was supposed to marry her, I was supposed to marry him, and I treated them like garbage, and now look, they're happy. And I'm salty. <laughs> so I hope that this reading was helpful to somebody out there. Um, you know, it's almost like, you know, that Chevy Chase movie where, uh, you know, Christmas vacation, that point where he's expecting that like bonus or whatever, and he's already paid for the in-ground pool. And then he winds up getting the jelly of the month club. And then he gets so aggravated and like upset and starts like ranting and raving at his party. I'd like someone to go get that SOB boss ex-boss of mine and bring him to me with a bring him to me with like a, a red ribbon on him and then you got cousin Eddie <laughs> that'd be like me at the party like hmm <laughs> and then next thing you know he comes back with them and in a metaphorically way speaking not promoting violence absolutely not all right just having a little fun here and thank you all so much and I will talk to you all later